So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Did you know the federal acquisition workforce consists of over 200,000 personnel or buyers? In fact, according to DOD, the defense acquisition workforce alone is over 150,000 people. There's no way you can reach out to them personally, so you need them to find you. Unfortunately, 90% of you are virtually invisible. In fact, 60% of you are completely invisible to the federal buyer. But that's because you don't know the process. Up until two years ago, I didn't know the process either. My name is Neil McDonald and I'm the founder of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. I coach small businesses now on how to be successful, but before that I was a small business owner myself for 20 years. I got out of the army in 1997 and in 1998 started my first small business selling to the federal government. Before I sold that company, I had landed six and seven figure contracts with the IRS, with the Air Force, State Department and others. My second government contracting firm went from 2007 until 2017 when I sold it. In those 10 years, I was personally involved in winning contracts with the Department of Defense, Department of Veterans Affairs, Department of Homeland Security, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, uh, Air Force, the White House, uh, Defense Information Services Agency, or DISA, and a whole bunch of other federal agencies. I did this by subcontracting and prime contracting. All that's to say, despite my obvious success over 20 years, I could have built a 30 or $40 million firm if someone would have told me the process that I want to share with you. It begins with visibility and getting on the radar of the hundreds of thousands of market researchers and federal buyers within the government. You'd be okay if they're reaching out to you, right? Now I'm not talking about a silver bullet here. There's work involved, but if you put in the effort to do that work, you'll see the results you want. I'm talking about doing what it takes to significantly increase your visibility with federal buyers. If you sell something they need and have the skills and experience to deliver, then they want to know about it. Don't hide. Raise your hand if you want to be found. In fact, why don't you raise your hand right now if you want to be found? These are my minions and they represent me. <laughs> Each of your companies has a small business profile I want to talk about that's available to federal market researchers and buyers. When they want to find you, they search your profile. But would it shock you to learn that 90% of small business profiles receive an F grade when measured against key metrics buyers care about? No wonder the buyers aren't finding us. You can quickly achieve an A grade though, which will put you in the top 1% of visibility to the federal buyers and almost guarantee you'll be found when they search for companies like yours that sell what you sell. Not just the federal buyer either, but also prime contractors looking for companies like yours.